Hey, what's up, Muscle and Strength? IFBB Pro, Kareth Bajo here. Why don't you come on in? I'm gonna show you how to make a real good muscle building meal. One of my go-tos right here. Coconut jasmine rice. It's clean, it's consistent. Sure, it's got preservatives in it, but it's not enough to really affect you. Um, you're still gonna process your food and you're not gonna grow an arm out of your back or anything like that. So 90 second rice gets the job done. It hits every time. All right, so we always go with lean ground beef. So just some stew meat will get the job done. Low in fat, high in protein. You know, it's got some flavor and better texture than chicken, you know. You get into prep, you really want to chew your food and not just have mushy everything. So it's a little bit better than having just ground chicken, ground beef every time. You know, this right here, put it on some size and it really sits good in your stomach so it'll fight off the cravings. A little addition, more veggies, the squash, dipping your steak in this, tastes sensational. More source of fiber and greens right here. Green beans, frozen. Never fresh, always frozen. Take my word for it. So this is our muscle building meal, and I'm gonna show you how to chop it up. Always use olive oil spray. So these three items here, real simple. My prep, I've got it down to a science where it only takes me a few minutes. I could cook six meals a day and not get tired of what I'm doing. But all this stuff done in the microwave takes you less than five minutes total. So if you are trying to save on you know, um, meal prep time, use your microwave. And pro tip, I learned this from Food Network. If you don't want your steak to burn, don't put the black pepper on until after you cook it. Don't season it until after you cook it. I do make an exception for stew meat though because I'm gonna be stirring this constantly. So what are some foods you rely heavily on to put on size? Carbohydrates. Lots of carbohydrates, lots of protein. So simple carbs right here, boom, pop it in the microwave and you know, it, it'll put on size. It tastes good too. It's got a coconut flavor to it. it. Takes 90 seconds. Just that easy. I know my coach won't like to hear this, but I don't need to prep a meal. My gym is very close to my house and I can come home and I can cook and still nail that anabolic window. And yes, I do believe in the anabolic window because you don't drive a car on an empty tank. Why work out on an empty stomach? You're not gonna grow on an empty stomach. Replace the nutrients you burned. And we got our butternut squash. We just peel up one corner, it's that simple. And this is, this is merely I like squash, but it's high in fiber and it's a great vegetable, uh, good source of carbohydrates. It's fun to dip your steak in it and just, you know, eat it. It's like a mashed potato, but with more flavor. And then the green beans, of course. Just waiting on that rice to finish. Pop that in. Look at that. Boom. So we're not going to use the whole bag. I'm probably only going to do maybe a fourth of the bag. And I'm gonna eyeball it, because it's off season. They'll shrink down. And as you can see, they're bright green because they're frozen at their peak. Two minutes, 30 seconds, that's done. I like to eat this way all year round. Um, the only thing that really changes for me is the portion size. So, you know, I stay consistent and even before I found bodybuilding, this is how my body liked to be fueled. So once, once I started bodybuilding, there was no transition. It was just what I did. Pre-contest, off-season, it's just a way of life. And if you look at it that way, you're not dieting anymore. You know, you just eat a little less, so what? A couple of weeks, grit your teeth and bear it. You'll be all right. So as you can see, we're just cooking it up making sure it doesn't stick to the pot. Can't go wrong with a little black pepper. And this is almost done. I know even though it's chopped meat, I don't like it cooked all the way through. 
So we got the perfect pinch. I know you've seen I put a little bit more than a pinch in there, but there's quite a bit of steak in there. So perfect pinch, steak seasoning, it's pretty good. So it's funny how that worked. Um, the universe told me to sit my ass down in the nicest way by giving me the flu while I was at the Olympia. And, you know, I think it was perfectly timed because, you know, I, I looked my best and then I felt my worst <laughs> a couple days later. So I was forced to take about three weeks off of training um, post Olympia. And that was, that was the right way to end my season. My body needed the rest and, you know, I've, I've grown since, so, you know, everything worked out according to plan, or not even according to plan, but it worked out accordingly. And, um, yeah, I mean, now we've built a better body, we're strong again, and, um, you know, we're not missing meals. We fell back in love with bodybuilding. Yeah, those are my buddies right there. Lay in Bentley. That's all it takes couple of minutes you got some steak and this is gonna make a nice post-workout meal I know coach will probably tell me go 200 do 200 but yeah even for me sometimes 200 is too much so we're gonna keep this right around 140 141 all right so we got that there all right we're zeroed out and I like to stay in the area of about six ounces, cooked, of course. Sometimes I go maybe seven. Let's go seven today. Got 6.8, 7.2. Got all that, we're not even gonna weigh this out. Just gonna throw them in there. These green beans are that good. Make sure you always got some greens on your plate, by the way. Your body will thank you for it. It's almost done. It's got some ice chunks in there. But instead of gravy, this works just fine. Give this another two minutes or so. I can't wait to eat it. Honestly, that's my motivation to go train right now because I, I really want to eat that. But, you know, I'll settle for the... the pre-workout muffin instead. It's one of my staples. So we should have got a bigger container, but we all fit it in. This is going in. So a little bit of squash goes a long way. Keep in mind, like I said, it's high in fiber, so <laughs> you gotta be careful. Otherwise it will come back and bite you in the end, if you know what I mean. So. With all that said, that is your muscle building meal. Post-workout, steaming and nice, nice clean protein, nice clean carb, greens, and a little bit of exotic vegetables with that squash for you to dip your steak in. Enjoy. Go get huge. All right, Muscle and Strength, thank you for tuning in to my muscle building meal. Make sure you like and subscribe. Mm -hmm.